I'm uh, happy to present our CBPR 2023 paper today, Learning to Exploit Temporal Structure for Biomedical Vision Language Processing. So what do I mean by biomedical vision language processing? If we think about the radiology workflow, it basically consists of an image is taken of a patient. A radiologist will then interpret this image, who will write their findings in a report. This results in paired image report data sets, which enable us to do multimodal self-supervised learning. However, there's a challenge associated with this. The reality is that comparing to prior images is very common during radiology workflows because it, it supports interpretation. And in fact, in the commonly used MIMIC CXR dataset, about 40% of reports explicitly reference a prior image. The reason this is challenging is because it introduces temporal ambiguity during contrastive training. The idea between image text contrastive training is that we're able to match images with their corresponding reports. But if the report contains a sentence like pleural effusion is worsening, there's nothing in the single image representation which can capture that information. So this produces an ambiguity and a noise in our little uh, fictionalized info NCE affinity matrix here. So the solution to this is to use both current and prior images during contrastive training. Here, we're able to compare a report with multiple sequential images from the same patient. Now, mentions of change like pleural effusion is worsening can be grounded somewhere in the image because we have access to two or potentially more images. And what's really important here is that this image ordering information is already available in data sets like MIMIC CXR. We're not actually using any new data, we're just exploiting the existing structure to know that this is a previous image to this. However, this does necessitate a multi-image encoder. Now we need to be able to contrast the representation for one or more images against some text. So our requirements here are, we would like an image encoder which is flexible. It can handle prior images if they're available, but it should also still work if there's only a single image. We also want to avoid needing registration, in particular because this is not well defined for chest x-rays, which are 2D projections of complex 3D structures. So our approach is a hybrid CNN vision transformer. The CNN is good at extracting patch level features from the images, while the vision transformer integrates prior information uh, when available. So here's a schematic of our multi-image encoder. You can see we have two images that both pass through the CNN to, to collect the patch level features. In pink, we're showing the transformer blocks, which, which are incorporating both the prior and the current images where available. And if not, we use a missing in image embedding to represent the fact that there is no prior image. If there is a prior image, we're able to extract what we're thinking of as the difference embedding, which aims to capture the difference between this image and the prior. So we can use this as part of a multimodal pre-training pipeline, which we call BioVLT. In this pipeline, we have three objectives. A global contrastive loss between images, potentially more than one, and the report, a local contrastive loss between image patches and text tokens, which is really important for localization, especially when you've got a vision transformer, and an image guided mass language, language modeling loss, which further cements the connection between the image and text modalities. I've shown you our multi-image encoder. For our text encoder, we're leveraging a previously published uh, CXR BERT domain specific model uh, with new cross attention layers to support the image guided MLM. Here is the overall pipeline. If you'd like to study it in detail, please check out the paper. So what is the impact of this? Well, without requiring additional data, this BioVLT method improves on prior state of the art in various tasks, both unimodal and multimodal. We're improving zero and few shot image classification on the RSNA pneumonia detection benchmark. We're improving sentence similarity metrics using RAD NLI and a new temporal sentence similarity uh, data set that we will release. We're improving on phrase grounding, which is image text localization, for example, of pathologies on the previously released MSCXR dataset. And we're also improving on report generation on MIMIC CXR. Importantly, during report generation, because we have this multi-image encoder, we're able to use both current and prior images to generate the report. This reduces the hallucination of change information, which is otherwise relatively commonplace in this application. Because we have a multi-image encoder, we're also able to handle tasks such as temporal image classification, like disease progression classification. Here I'm showing an example of the model attempting to classify improving consolidation. 
Our BioVLT pre-training method improves supervised state-of-the-art, as well as enabling zero and few shot variants of this task. So, in summary, we're motivated by the observation that, of course, multimodal contrastive learning requires semantic alignment between image and text. But temporal references in text, which are very common in our domain, necessitate incorporating prior images in the image encoder to reduce temporal ambiguity. Therefore, by exploiting this existing temporal structure in the data, we can improve on prior methods in various downstream tasks. And as I mentioned, to support further research in this area, we're releasing a temporal evaluation data set for the radiology domain, which we call MSCXR. I look forward to seeing you in Vancouver.